Hello and welcome to 3 Dark CNC and a quick little video on some print in place uh, 3D prints that I've been making. I'm working on some bigger projects right now that take a bit of time. So the uh, 3D printed RC car and I'm also assembling a small uh, 3D printed drift RC car. So I've printed some of these uh, print in place stuff in the meantime and I had a lot of fun with it. So uh, I'll show off my top 5 I've been printing from the easiest up to the most difficult to print, so stay tuned! So I know this video is a bit different, but I thought I would share uh, these models because I think they are really interesting, quite uh, quick prints that you can do, do if you feel like you don't have anything queued up for your printer. So we'll start with this. Uh, it's a model from uh, Devin over at Make Anything. Um, and it's not really a print in place, but um, almost since this white part, you cannot remove it from this. So that's a, uh, almost like that wood block with a nail in it. So you can't get the nail out. This is almost the same uh, thing. And also I will leave all the links for these models down in the description. But what you do is you print this white part first and then you actually start printing the next, uh, this uh, green one right here. Then you pause the print in the middle of the print, slide this on and then you just finish up the print. So it's not really print in place and that's why I also put this as the easiest one. Now we go on to the classical uh, flexi uh, rex. This is also not that uh, difficult of a print. Uh, there are links in between all of these uh, sections that hold it together and they just print. So there's a bit of space in between so they can move freely. And I've never had one of these fail really. So it's just bad digestion. It uh, you have to have quite good bed leveling, but otherwise they are not that difficult to print, uh, but quite fun. Now we will start to get up on some of the more difficult prints. So this is an iris box. So if you turn this base right here, there are four uh, parts which go up. There are some, they are in between the inner wall of the actual box and this outer part and there's a small pin that pushes this up when uh, you rotate it and all of these print in place and as you can see there are very thin gaps in between but it's quite easy to for them to fuse together and especially here at the bottom this is where I had some problems when the build plate was a bit too close to the bed uh, so it fused right here and I had to use some uh, force to get it loose. But now it's actually working quite well and it's a really uh, interesting print in uh, place box. And now for the engine benchmark, which is, which is said to be the replacement of the Banshee. Uh, I actually made a full video on this, which you can see, I will also link that uh, below. It's a really interesting print in place uh, model. There are some different hole sizes and uh, bridging tests. This one broke off, but there are a lot of other tests as well. But the most important, of course, being the crank uh, with the crankshaft, pistons, everything moving freely. And all of this actually prints without support. So that's uh, even more fun to be able to do all of this without any support at all because uh, that's not uh, what the last part I will be showing you uh, right now there you need a lot of supports and it's even more challenging than this one so now for the most challenging print I found uh, it's these fidget gears right here uh, they print with a lot of supports, so this entire bottom side needs to be printed with supports since these gears here stick out further down. 
and also all these teeth need to be printed with support and also being able to move uh, freely. For me, these gears fuse together uh, quite hard with this, fr this frame right here and also these gears uh, fuse together with the axle and of course all of the support down here on these gears really uh, got stuck in the teeth and it was really hard to get started moving. Uh, it's still a bit tough to rotate and then get it uh, gets stuck sometimes but overall it's working fine now and it's a really cool uh, print as you can see the uh, teeth of this gear actually go into the teeth of these uh, 90 degree angled gears as well so it's a really difficult print but really fun to see if you will be able to make it on your printer so that's my top five print in place prints I've been doing right now. I, as I said, I have a lot of more bigger projects coming up in the future, so you should definitely uh, stay tuned for those. But until then, uh, happy printing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!